On Afghanistan, last month the administration shared that the objective was to get individuals who are eligible relocated out of Afghanistan in advance of the U.S. trip withdrawal at the end of August. Given the speed of the Taliban offensive, is that still the timeline? Uh, it, it continues to be. We continue to work to expedite that to ensure we get um, SIV applicants uh, who are eligible out of the country, both to uh, Fort Lee, our base here in the United States, and also to third-party countries. Uh, but there have been a number of flights uh, that have already uh, been conducted, already been implemented, and we're continuing to work to expedite uh, moving uh, these applicants out of the country. And one more on that, uh, the administration's view has been that the Afghan forces have what they need. They've got the equipment, they've got the forces to fight back. Uh, but the Taliban now controls about 60 percent of the territory in Afghanistan. Isn't it clear that the Afghans at this point don't really have control? Well, I think our point here is, Stephanie, is that um, we have, uh, we, we are continued, we will continue to provide close air support making sure that Air Force functions uh, are operable. We will continue to resupply f their forces with food and equipment, pay all their salaries. In addition to all of the assistance we've provided over the last 20 years, I'd also note, and this is a question that came up yesterday, that the train, advise, and assist approach that we have imp been implementing and the range of assistance we've provided was done in coordination with military leaders and the implementation and designing of that plan with military leaders and civilian leaders in Afghanistan over the last several years. So our larger point here is ultimately the Afghan National Security Defense Forces have the equipment, numbers, and training to fight back. Uh, they have what they need. Uh, what they need to determine is if they have the political will to fight back and if they have the ability to unite as, a, uh, as leaders to fight back. And that's really where it stands at this point. Good question. That air support is supposed to end the next few weeks that U.S. Air Support, what, what happens after August 31st when those 600 troops are still there trying to protect the U.S. Embassy and the airport and that air support is gone? Will that be looked at again to, to continue it or what happens from there? I, I don't, it's a good question. I don't have any update on that for you at this point in time. I will note that the President still made an extensive uh, request for assistance, security assistance, humanitarian assistance, different from your question but still t relevant. Uh, for Afghanistan in his FY22 budget. So our assistance, our partnership, does not end. Uh, I understand you're asking specifically about support, uh, air support, but uh, he made a significant request and certainly will continue to uh, work to get that money through and to the Afghan leadership. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.